Hi everybody! We're just gonna hang out for a few minutes while some people log on and then look unboxing <laughs> multiple unboxings yeah we're just hanging out we're gonna do an unboxing with mermaid nova we're just gonna wait a few minutes for people to log on so we're just chatting to kind of sidestep that a little bit today is actually mermaid nova's birthday you don't have to point i have it you don't have to direct the live stream sean <laughs> So she, she made me this on my birthday, so I'm gonna make her wear it. It's just it says the birthday girl, so you have to wear the birthday girl sash. <laughs> That's fair, I suppose. And we took her out on Saturday to get some photos. I haven't had a chance to edit them, but they're really gorgeous. Tell them about your silicone tail, your, the saga of your silicone tail. <laughs> what an adventure it's gone on for sure. So last year I had a crazy mental breakdown and who didn't during the start COVID. of the pandemic yeah that on top of a bunch of work stuff really wasn't good i basically said screw it i'm never gonna swim in my silicone tail ever again and sold it not even a year passed and i realized oh my gosh i'm out of this brain fog i sold my baby what did i do that for and graciously the mer that i sold it to i messaged them and they were so sweet and they took their time and thought about it and they said on the worst day possible, you can buy it back. They told me this on April Fools and I literally almost had a breakdown because I thought they were joking with me. <laughs> My husband works for FedEx, which is really great. So we did up the way bill, we got a discount on the shipping, sent them all the paperwork. They shipped it off. It missed so many deadlines. There was so many backwards things. It was so horrible. Meanwhile, she's checking the shipping every day. <laughs> with no updates and then it being a return to sender situation, stuck in customs, and then all of a sudden showing up in our province the very next day on a truck out for delivery. We missed the delivery. It was a whole mess. I was an emotional mess for a week and a half. Horrible situation. Finally tail arrived. And the last swim we were gonna be able to get in was canceled because of the rising cases. So I have now shipped the tail back off again. <laughs> Paid for express shipping because I am not dealing with that again. So it's actually going out to possibly be repainted, which is really exciting. They'll have to do tests on it to make sure that the silicone will receive the paint because not everyone knows, but you can't just repaint silicone. No, it has a green period for when it can accept new product, but they can wake it up sometimes with yeah. a chemical exposure. So the same artist, Mermaid Amethia, she made my purple top that so many people love. She also experimented on the she creature to see if she could repaint it for us, but unfortunately it's a 10 year old tail and it would not accept. She even called Smooth On. Getting into the chemistry, the Mer tailors, and it's only a year old. Historically, yeah, they've, been, old. they've been able to be repainted. I know that there's a few, when it came back to me, so the mer that I sold it to had only swam in it once in the entire year because of COVID, of course. They were only able to swim in it once, but there were some repairs done to it, especially when I had it because I was quite aggressive with my tail <laughs> with places we went. Oh, well, if it breaks, I can fix it. I know I repaired it with a GE silicone, which I don't know yeah. how that will react with paint. So I'm a little terrified that some places might not receive, but some places she'll be able to let me know by the end of the week, hopefully. It'll be with her for the next month, if so. So what do we have here in the meantime? So I've been toying with a custom Mer Taylor whimsy tail since you guys got yours. Yep. And finally at Christmas, I was able to get in with one of the artists. Which artist did yours? Do you remember? <sighs> Tiffany. <laughs> We go by people's Mersona's name. When you're getting a custom whimsy tail from Mer Taylor, you subcontract one of his approved artists so that they can create a quality control for all their designs. That person does your design for you, or if you've designed it yourself, you can give it to them, they put it into the template, whatever. So everything is the, the right quality, the right pixels, it has to be everything. And then they can print it with their amazing printers and yeah. put your tail together, so. Yeah, so it was done by Tiffany's Mermaid Designs. So I had contacted a few other of the artists, but holy Moses, the lineups that they had. Very popular. Yeah, Mermaid Sephira, I had actually contacted way before and I'd been put on a wait list and she only contacted me last week. Yeah. And she so was like, hey, are you ready to order and <laughs> do your design? My order's been in since March. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> superiors Oops. in high demand. And I know Mer Taylor is hoping to add new artists and also new seamstresses yeah. uh, to their to their place, and also people who can pour silicone and stuff. Yeah. And he's been really busy building his own aquarium, which, which is, is cool. one of my lifetime dreams. So way to go, Eric. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. So, um, and there's also something in here for one of your friends, yes? Yes. So one of my friends, I sold one of my old skins to to be able to fund this because my husband has said I'm only allowed to have two skins at a time. Fair, because they're expensive. My husband isn't allowed to say that. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, Sean's usually the one pushing the bad habit. <laughs> well, he can enable me sometimes. However, the rule is two skins at a time because Again, they are really expensive and, yeah. you know, it, it's a decent, you know, if you know, maybe down the line I might expand that under Two is his good knowledge. because you can rotate exactly. so that you're not wearing it out. I mean, Sean and I have a lot, but we also put a lot of our team members in exactly. and rent them out, that sort of exactly. thing. Exactly. And I can't rent your tails because I am double your size. Yeah. <laughs> you wear a small and I wear an extra large. I'm not wearing a small right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you'll fit my tail. I designed the tail completely and then I basically had to have one of the artists take it and just put the scales on it essentially because I went all out this is exactly how I want it you better not change any of the markings because I went a little crazy with the markings on this one mm. anyone that looks at this tail knows exactly who it belongs to because yeah. Aurora Borealis and Whale Shark. Yeah, yeah. So, can't really, really see excited. it in the video, but Nova has a really cool Whale Shark tattoo that we've seen in some of our there you go check that out <laughs> This is going to be eventually a whole leg sleeve of sea creatures, but yeah. that is awesome. we're getting there. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna yeah. go well, all the way let's up. Let's open this bad boy. I think I got it enough. <laughs> Raw power. Yeah, you gotta have some kind of strength. Ugh. Oh, there's the table. What she flipped the gone. table. <laughs> Staying out of the way. <laughs> I am not right handed. Okay, pa pass me the knife. I should have handed that too backwards. Knife safety, children. Oh, <laughs> what's the meme say? They were <laughs> there are mermaid tails down here. Gotta love his. And I'd be jumping humor. right into the sewer. <laughs> oh, yeah, so would I. I've never seen that movie, but. So there's our order, custom, all the fun stuff. So the other really cool thing about this tail is I was actually one of the first mermaids to get the new side fins. Yeah, he, that's right. He's got extra fins now. Yeah, he added a bunch of the fins and everything. So there's sets A, B, C, mm -hmm. and I added, so not only am I one of the first people to order with the new side fins, but I got double side fins. This is new. Ooh. I like this better than packing peanuts and bubble wrap. Agree. this is gonna be really loud on video though. Yeah, let's I don't know if there's a squishy, I don't know if they have squishies, but I I read on the manifest, I think there might be a mask in here. Did you order a mask? Oh, I think she did. She did? Okay. Oh, there is a squishy. Oh, there is a squishy. Ah, ah, What'd you get? A little seahorse. That's amazing. So this fin is for your friend though. Yes. Right. So she bought one of my old tail skins and obviously needed the mono fin. So she got the big blue. When Nova's done, I'm gonna open some things too, but mine aren't in a big box. So let's see this. Oh, there's, an oh, there's another squishy. Oh, both got matches, squishies. It matches your tail. Oh, it's so cool, it got purple too. Yeah. Oh, it's like blue purple. It's that's got like- It's kind of shifty. Yeah. It's yeah, cool. It must be like their over pores that they got little molds that anytime they over pour, because it feels like the tail silicone. Yeah, it's pretty it's cute. So cool. What a smart idea, just blue, as a little. Blue legs putting that stuff together. Thanks, Blue. Oh man, those colors are already so vibrant. I'm already loving the colors so much. Yeah, that it's, green's it's so, so vibrant. <gasps> Look at those fins, oh my god. Wow, that color gradient is so, look at that middle fin. That worked out so well. Wow. wow. Oh, my little moons. Yeah, I hid little moons in it. Oh my gosh, those and the double side fins. Oh my gosh. She thought they were gonna have to overlap them because she didn't want them down too far, but wow. Even if they did overlap, that'd be I know. cool. But they got the, the tip marks. Now what I really love is, so the front and back are different. So I've got the markings all the way down. 
uh, you kind of. Isn't it so cool to be able to wear something you've created? Right. Like, like that I is drew this. so cool. I drew this, and there's the back. Oh, marking. I love that. You know who's gonna love this is Gregory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Merman Equinox. Gregory he's gonna Washington. be. He's gonna be all over this. Oh, it's so perfect. Yeah. I, I thought that it the looks like your fursona. Darker. It's like the colors of your fursona. Oh yeah, the mint. The mint has become kind of the mint and the lilac have the become little moon. My, yeah. But there's Moons? like there's there's little hidden faces in it too that my husband's pointed out so many times. Yeah, that one's like an angry owl. <laughs> yeah, like a little it. fox. Like. <laughs> I hid lots of funny designs in it, just as kind of little nods to. Well, people when they things. see my narwhal, they always point out that it looks like there's a seal face. At I the know. Bottom. Yeah. I think I was the first person to point that out, actually, which is funny. But oh my gosh, I love how the the markings like. The one thing that Candy was always warns people about is doing markings that transition front to back. So the fins kind of hide a lot of them that do because they can never make sure that they perfectly line up. But yours oh, look oh like they gosh. perfectly line up. They did such a stunning job with making sure that they line up, even on the zipper. Wow. Like, just stunning. Queen Candy. Queen Candy and uh, obviously the amazing seamstress team because even as a seamstress myself, I, I struggle with it all the time, trying to line things up perfectly and I'm one of the people that would constantly just sit there and go, ah! It's not perfect and redo it a hundred times. But oh my gosh, I still love this tail so much. I know. I wish when he reopens silicone, like he said he was gonna be retiring some of the flukes, and I really hope that he brings this one in to oh, replace yeah. some of them. That's a nice one. And those side fins too. We wanna plan when COVID is over a huge Halifax mermaid trip to Florida and I'll go visit Eric. <laughs> yeah, two weeks of vacation for all of us. Half the time spent at Disney and all the parks and then half the time going to Springs and mermaidy things. Yeah. I drive a school bus, so I'm just gonna rent a bus and drive us everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love. And I'll, obviously, I'll have to get some elastic to redo the top because I always redo the tops. Oh, I didn't know that. You bring them in? Yeah, so I, I don't actually cut anything out, but I open up one of the seams here and add elastic in just that way it scrunches. So when yeah. I put it on, it kind of cinches in a bit. Yeah, cool. I've done that to all my tails so far and it's because I've got such a tiny little waist. I've got my maternity tail too. We're going to take a look at here yeah. in a minute. I've been ordering different tops online, not silicone ones, just different tops that I can try to see that are versatile because my boobs don't fit anything right now because it's a baby. And I don't know if they're gonna stay big or not. It really depends, I guess. So this matches a couple of my tails. You might remember the Fantasy 3 beta one, the purple and green and blue. I wanted it in an orange and black as well, but they didn't have an orange and black combo. This is just from Amazon. I don't even know if it's gonna fit. I'm looking at it now. It's supposed to be a large. I don't like, think it's going to. We'll see. That's so not gonna fit. No, there's... <laughs> there's no way that's a large. That's not even gonna <laughs> cover the nipples. Okay, so it strings down. Oh, okay, I see how it goes. I see. Here. Okay, there's literally no way that is gonna fit my boobs. I, I should have gotten an extra large. I mean, it's a good idea. I could still put it over the black bikini top. It's from China, and their larges are so tiny. Pretty though. That's it's funny. Not, like messy. <laughs> Cute. Anyway, that's a bust. Look oh, at wow. that. It's pretty. It is pretty. I think I could put it over the black bikini top and it'll look cute. Look at how tiny it is now that I'm looking at it. Man, <laughs> that's too bad. This is my maternity tail, maternity detail. I needed something a bit bigger. The smalls are still fitting me, but they're hard for me to get on. I needed something a bit looser. So I got a medium, which I do have a couple mediums already. They're a little baggy on me, but not too noticeably. My purple betta is a medium, and I like them because Mimi fits in them. She can share them. Wanderer Nymph Whimsy Tail. I always call it the monarch tail. It but really should just be the monarch tail. That's what it's called. Wandering Nymph. Oh man, some people think they can copyright rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. so vibrant. Oh, that's a big squishy. I got a squishy uh, tail. tail. Oh, very sparkly too. Oh yeah, they, they've got to be doing over pores because you got to think like that's the color of the pink for oh, the yeah. Fantasy 3 and then mine came in the blue and the blue purple, which is... <laughs> Candy, you'll have to let us know. Am I right? Is that over pores? I think blue just makes them because he loves us. Just let me think of my world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> I just... 
I think it's such a smart practice. It's a cute thing people get excited about because they get something a little extra and then they're not wasting product. Because that is a commercially available mold. I, I've seen yeah. this mold used. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Vibrant. Oh my gosh. We're gonna so try vibrant. to get some pictures in this this weekend. Look at this. Look at that fin. Holy Toledo. So this is what I kind of wanted. I wanted like a bra that would go like this, right? Should have just asked. the sunflowers. Last time we saw the butterflies out there. Oh my gosh. Make you a top just out of sunflowers. Imagine a top like that to go with it, right? You need, like okay, that. you need a flower crown. Oh yeah. Was, I've been contemplating what to make you for like a headdress for this. I tried a couple different things and I was not successful with one of them and I was really kind of mad at myself. But you just need a big flower crown and mold pin butterflies in your hair. <laughs> I didn't realize how much detail was in this one. So my plan for this look, what I want for a look is I'm gonna commission Mermaid Amethea to make me a silicone top because her tops tie. They don't have, and they'll fit for a variety of sizes. So even if I get smaller, it'll still fit me and cover me without being too clunky and big. So I'm gonna get her to make me a top. I wanna order a pair of wings that go with the monarch theme, like a flower crown or something. That'll be like my maternity stuff. I think it's so gorgeous. I'm really it is shocked. stunning. I'm kind of taken aback because I don't think I realized how detailed these fits no, were. Yeah. And especially online, things look so much more muted. Yeah. That yellow at the top is just hurt your eyes yellow. So imagine that as a top. I think these are so my colors, so. It really is. I've just been kind of throwing dye on my hair, but I'm gonna actually get my hair done. It's the just kind of a mess. Those two tails too. Yeah, look, they're opposite and colors. Night. Orange yeah. and blue, right? On I the can't color really wheel. Get in the wild with those. Like, in the wild. The Bring it to the springs or something. Um, okay. Oh. oh, nice. That's a good fit. This is why we're a skirt, because I can easily do this. Okay, now look at these. These are pregnancy pants, and I feel like my grandpa brown when I put them up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, though. How you doing? Look at you two. This is great. That's gorgeous. That's great. That's really great. It fits you really nice because sometimes they stretch a bit too much and then you lose a bit of the color. Well, that's the thing. Mermaid Emma, she wears a large tail, even though we're the same size. I just like the fit and yeah. feel of the, of the extra large because it doesn't Show stretch. your design on your phone because it's really quite remarkable how close it is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. There's the... Wow. Oh, I do have the detailed scales. I wasn't sure. Yeah. You just slip yours on. I think I'm all right. I might pee myself. <laughs> but, uh, pregnant problems. That is funny. But yeah, you probably should. Yeah, you two look like opposites with the tail colors. Yeah, yeah, they are very opposite, but in such a complimentary way because they're complimentary colors. Are. Opposite colors. Uh, opposites on the color spectrums. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. Same. I am so happy with how so, the color turned so out. Nice. It's like nighttime, daytime. Oh no, don't do that. Nighttime, daytime, daytime, daytime. 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 What are you doing? <laughs> Having a good nighttime, daytime. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out. So update wise, we are not gonna have pools again until at the earliest mid-May, but I'm not thinking we're gonna have it mid-May. I think I think probably by June we'll be back in the pools. So it's gonna be a bit before we see all of our team members. It's for the safety of everybody though. So make sure you're taking all the right COVID precautions. Even if you are vaccinated, please make sure you're still wearing masks in public places. You can still get it and you can still spread it. It's just not as severe when you're vaccinated, right? Get like, tested. Yeah, get, get asymptomatic testing done in Halifax has been huge. We're doing record numbers of yeah. asymptomatic testing, which is why we're rooting it out. So. Yeah. Thank you so much to the Murtailer crew, as always. Candy, Blue, Eric, obviously. The all fact the... that you guys got this to me like a month early and on my birthday yeah. is literally amazing. the biggest. It's amazing. Like, I think that's like the biggest coincidence or Candy literally dug through emails and knew it was my birthday in April because that was <laughs> when my... Spellbound was originally supposed to come to, it was on my birthday. I so. feel like Candy is everybody's mom. I see people a lot of times asking questions in the group is just email her. Candy literally is, just email her. Candy is the mermaid mom. Yeah, because <laughs> she's literally done everything for anyone that she can. And we all annoy her to the world's end because we're all, where's her tails, where's her tails, where's yeah. her tails? 
Speaking of Mer Taylor, you can get 10% off your Mer Taylor purchase using my code RAINA10, R-A-I-N-A-10, all capital letters. I saw some people say it doesn't work. It does work. It just doesn't work on silicone. It works on... It works on, on customs. It works on Every regulars. fabric. All the fabric products. Yeah, yeah. All the fabric products, just not silicone. It has to be all caps, RAINA10. Please don't post my code in the Mer Taylor group because we are trying to be fair because there's a ton of affiliates. So it's not really fair if we're all posting our stuff in there. So so please don't post it in there, but you can post it other places and get your 10% off. Use that stimulus check, <laughs> use that tax return. Yeah. That's what this is, tax return money. <laughs> oh yeah, there's our mask. Midnight Abyss. Yeah, we both have oh, this sale too. I was gonna order a Merchandler mask and I feel like I should, but this is, they're really cute. I really like them. You have a bunch. Eric keeps me masked up. Okay, so thank you so much. Please hit that like button and please subscribe, leave us a comment, and check us out on patreon.com slash Mermaid. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. That's right, ding, 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 ding. Love you guys, thank you so much.